Here it is, the Buckmobile, aka my crib. Here's how it looks from the back, and I'll give you a side view too. So as you can see, it's really not that long, which is good. It's very spacious though, especially compared to the Civic. This is a Ford Transit, by the way. And I'm so glad I got this. The only weird thing is that, as you can see, it's paneled up here. So when driving, there's no rear view mirror. So it took a little bit to get used to that, but I mean, it's fine now. And there's some construction or something going on, so that's what you guys are hearing, just in case you were wondering. So to go inside and actually give you like the full tour, the first thing I guess I'll start with, here is my bed that I sleep on. It's actually pretty comfy, it's not bad in my pillow down there. I got this off Amazon for like 60 bucks, and it fits perfectly, as you can see, it fits perfectly inside there, so it works out pretty well. So next, for hanging stuff, Brittany Paquette got me this and that thing down there, which I'll get to in a little bit. Shout out to her because this thing is awesome. It basically holds my coats, windbreakers, anything if it gets kind of chilly. And that's been very helpful. And some oats right here. I don't know. You might as well show that too to give you guys the full tour. So I have a towel hanging here. This is usually my spot for my towel in case it gets like wet or anything. If it's dripping, dripping wet, I'll either hang it outside somewhere or I'll fold this part up. And then, so at least it's not dripping on top of my bed. Next thing I have here, and this is so helpful, you know, Brittany got me this as well as I said before. It's a horizontal uh, water holder, and it holds five gallons, which is a lot, so that's really good. So now, going to my furniture, uh, this is probably the most, uh, the, the best thing about the transit, I'd say, just because I can build vertically. So over here, you can see, let's see. There's a bunch of zip ties here, and zip tie to the side of the car. So if I go like this, there's no way these are moving. I mean, if we're especially driving cross country, the last thing I want is something falling apart or whatever, and these have been amazing so far. So in each compartment for this section, I have clothes. So I have, you know, um, shorts, shirts, pants, underwear, socks, uh, like going out dress shirts, business clothes, which I know you're not supposed to fold up, but it's all good, uh, jeans and stuff like that. And then, I guess not really clothes, but I have my tripod laying right there too. Next thing is for these bins, and this might seem kind of weird, but the one thing I realized, especially while doing this, is that being organized is probably the most important thing. Like having like a place for each little knickknack is so unbelievably important. So right here for these first two bins that I have kind of like laying around, I can move these around. I have protein bars. Um, since I'm almost out, but these are good just for like a quick meal. I can put it in a backpack. Pretty simple. And then the next bin is energy stuff so to open this up I have there's a huge sale on these which is good these crystal light energy packets which have caffeine and B vitamins and so I can bring like a couple of them throw them in water it gives me a little kick and then I also have these things which are like those myo knockoff like water enhancers this liquid and same idea basically so I have a bin for that stuff next to go to these drawers um, which are huge because these are really important is the first one, and I would suggest this for anyone traveling, is I have a ton of joshing bags. They give these out at colleges a lot, at promotional events. I used to do a lot of promoting, so I have a ton of this stuff. I think this one's actually from UMass. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, I have a full bin just of those bags. And those are insanely helpful because I can put stuff in them from going to the beach or whatever. It's really lightweight. In addition to, let's like, say, if I have to bring something and then take it out, I could just, you know, crumble this up and then put it in my pocket, like, really quickly. Just crumble it up and boom. Next bin, um, if this is more like container stuff slash random stuff. I have a bin here for all my receipts to keep track of them. Um, shampoo, a workout band because I do all my workouts body weight style. I might be doing some videos on that a little bit later, so stay tuned for those. And then I have some water bottles, which obviously are huge and very important. And then I'll glutamine, which is good for your muscles in general. So I have that. Um, next drawer is tea. I have a ton of tea. I mean, I have some Urban Mate, I have some black tea, and then I have some green tea. And that's helpful. Um, this is just one of those like hand massagers. Brittany Pocket got me this as well, so decent amount of stuff in here. Um, more business cards, a uh, birthday card that I got, and then books here. And all these books are really just like helpful business books that I only bought a couple of them, but they've just been, you know, so helpful to me so far that it's good to have them as reference. And then lastly, here. I have a sleeping mask in case it gets really, really bright. Usually it doesn't, and I'll kind of show you my setup a little bit later, but usually it doesn't. And then pens and pencils, 
And these are all labels in a diamond label maker. So if I like say I'm going around and want to be flying somewhere, this is perfect for that too because I can make a label like on the go. So that's that bin. And then I have a couple bins on top of here. I have one for all promotional materials. This is like labels that I have made or business cards or something like that. I then have plastic sunglasses. I have so many of these from promoting. So uh, whatever. <laughs> I guess why not. And then wife beaters. Um, I'm almost out just because a bunch of them in my laundry bag. But those are really good because, especially when it's hot out and I have to go to a place that you can't be shirtless, these, this is like the closest I can get, I guess. So if it's like really, really hot out, those are really helpful. And then I just have a random bag here. It's always good to have a lot of bags. It's huge. Um, next, we're going to this kind of pile here. It's a bunch of different stuff. I just use a trash bag for clothes. So this is my laundry so far. I may have to do laundry soon. Um, I have another big bin. This is now for all my vitamins. I take like a lot of vitamins randomly here and there. Um, just, you know, to keep healthy and everything. Uh, I'm also sponsored by this company. I mentioned them a couple of times. The Lebra is basically a nootropical stack, which is a bunch of vitamins and minerals that are good for you and improve cognition as well. So it's kind of like all my toiletries, I guess. Put that up. And then some napkins. Always good to have in case I spill anything. I have this poster, which I'm supposed to put up, but I just haven't yet. You know, I just haven't got around to it. Um, next thing, and this is pretty much my main food source, is protein. And I have powder protein because what I can do is, I go over here for a second, take powder protein, and then I put it in this thing right here. This is actually an old peanut butter container that I just kind of emptied out. And this is really good because I can put protein in here and be traveling around, and all you really need to do is go to the bathroom or sink or whatever, fill up water, and then boom, that's a meal right there. So I have protein, and then also to complement the protein, I have this, which is a shake mix that is meant if you're going on a diet and you just don't want to eat that much because it kind of, you know, craves your hunger and everything. Uh, but I use it just as like an actual meal. There's like vitamins and minerals, almost like Sorlin, but not really. It's kind of like my own like sloppy version, throw it together. So that's why I do that. And then here's my DJ equipment bag with, you know, my S4, the X1, all my cables and everything. I then have my stand for my laptop. I have another kind of shake mix in there too. And then I have my portable speaker. And this thing can last a long time. It can last, I think it's like 15 hours on six AA batteries. And this thing can get loud too. So if I actually want to, you know, DJ actually out of the van here, it's very easy to do that. So it's pretty awesome. So it looks from here. And then I also have my Native American flute and I think some like headphones. And then lastly, shoes are under the, the uh, two seats here and there, and then this is a, kind of like a converter for, uh, for ta uh, a 10 volt to just like a electrical outlet. So that's how it looks from the back. Um, I'll go around now to show you the front part. And show you how the way everything works, especially when sleeping, because that's obviously a huge thing people have asked me is, how do you, you know, stay safe while sleeping? So going in here, oh, it's locked. Second, all right. So, first off, it's a little bit messy because I actually eat oats a lot when driving. Oats are really cheap and they're good for you. So, it's kind of like my snack. So, that's why it's kind of messy here. This is how it looks on the front while driving. First thing I do is I have this. This is one of those uh, sunlight protectors to keep your car cool. When I sleep, I actually take that. I'm not going to do it now, but put it up here so you can't even see in from the front. So that's a good way for me to kind of keep more hidden while sleeping. Because even though it's paneled up here, as you can see, so even though it's paneled up here, it's still good to have like more privacy, just you know, to be a lot more safe. Next thing I have is my book bag. I'm probably gonna do a whole video just on this because as weird as it's gonna sound, going into Starbucks and Panera's and going to different libraries and producing and doing diff like a bunch of work. What I have in my book bag is crucial, and I've actually revised, that sounds weird, but revised what I keep in my book bag and the strategies of what to keep in it. So I'll probably do a whole video on that, but this is my book bag for right now. Um, I have my mini keyboard under here because I was just producing before I did this video. Here I have a bag for trash, always important, and then I have a couple empty protein bottles. I use them for trash as well, and, you know, that works fine. And then lastly, just going around here, I have a mini lamp that works great. Air freshener, which is always good. And then my suit coat right there. I mean, just in case. I mean, I don't think I'll have to do anything businessy, but, you know, it's good to have it. So that's the way it looks from here. Um, you know, for the most part, when I do sleep, as I said before, I kind of put that up here, the sunlight protector. 
And then from the two side mirrors here and here, I'll kind of take this towel and put it over here. So you can't really see from that part. And then I'll also take the suit coat and move it a little bit. So basically it's hard to see from the side angles too. I mean, I doubt anyone will, but you never know just to be safe. So that's the way, you know, the whole car runs. That's why I have everything. I guess the last thing I'll show you, just one like weird thing I made, and this has been really helpful. So I have an auxiliary port right here. Um, and driving, obviously, especially when I'm doing long hours, it's good to be able to have like a versatile mix. So I have an iPod. It's pretty lengthy. So what I've done is I've taken this, which is basically just like a clamp, and then what I'll do is I'll clamp it to this, and then I have three zip ties. It's wicked sloppy, but it works. Three zip ties hanging off here. And then I have this thing, which basically you can attach any iPod. So I'm going to put this down for one second. Let's see. As you can see here, I mean, it looks like this a little bit. And then that's like a very easy way if I want to put something in it. To, and I can angle it too, obviously, do a bunch of different like maneuvers with it or whatnot. But I can angle it, so at least when I'm driving, it's not like I'm constantly looking down. And if I need to use Google Maps on my phone or if I need to change the song on an iPod, I'm not constantly looking down. So that's the way, you know, everything works in here. Hope you guys like the video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me or post a comment or whatever. I'm going to do a video on the book bag as well at some point. I'm not sure exactly when, but, you know, at some point. So, hope you guys like the video, and get bucked.